In this Tecla Structural Designer video, we'll be considering part foundation and base plate design of this model, as well we produce a detailed drawing of the part foundation and base plate. So stay connected as we proceed into the presentation. So we are going to be starting from the part foundation design of this uh, model. But by then, we need to see that the model has actually path design, all of the structural element. Okay, so for us to do that, you navigate to this review view options right here. Click right here, and then you can see our model. All of the structural members has actually path design. You can see none is failing. Okay, so we will proceed now to the physical model. So we come to these provisions where you have the structural view click right there okay so we have the physical model just like this we wouldn't need the uh this clouding right here we wouldn't need it so we come to where we have seed option if you come over here you can look at this uh, you can see the roof panel and the wheel panel contact it just like this we wouldn't need that okay so we proceed to the foundation tab right here Select on that. Okay. I want to position this model this way. Just like this. You can see. And then I will come to these options where I have part, base, color. This one. So I will select on that once. And then I picked a point and do a window over the uh, stanchions. Release my hand. You can see. Come to the 3D cube and navigate this way. I have the part base being inserted successfully, but not yet inside. All right. So now, when we come to where we have the properties of the part base over here, you can see foundation type. Okay, this is isolated base, part base options, auto design depth. Okay. Auto design size, you can see. So I will screw down the shape of it. I want it to be squared just like this. Okay. Consider centricity in the y and x directions as well as the angle right here, the length in y directions right here. Okay. As well as the length in the x directions is 1.8, 1.8 uh, meters, which is 1,800 millimeters. Goodly rated right there. I screw down. So after which we have the depth X700. This is not yet designed, all right. This is not yet designed, but we are trying to keep in the parameters. So the concrete glass I will use 3240. If you select this provision, there are other uh, concrete glass right here. Let me go by 1620 right there. I screw down, and then I have the uh user permanent load I have also the maximum crack to it all of that is going to be at default so I scroll down to where I have my reinforcement successfully so for the top bars I wouldn't want to have top bars right away so I will screw down you see I have my bottom bar type is going to be a loose bar and then the root type is type 2, the bar type is, uh, is 500 uh, worldwide, okay, I screw down right there, I have my outside layers, bar size, I'll use 12 right here, and then this person, I'm going to be using 150 millimeters just like this. And then this provision as well, I will use 12 options. I will use 150 millimeters right here. I will screw down as well my cover. It's going to be 40. I'll leave that at default. So I screw down. Then I have my side parameters. All of these are going to be at default, but for the bearing capacity, I will make use of 120 kilo duty. 
Pas premier temps en kilo pasca. Ok. Just like this. Ok. You can see. So I come down. I have my store charge and the rest of that. So all of this. I can leave them at default. You can see. So I'm done with my settings. Successfully. So after which. I have to now proceed. To these options right here. See this option. Design part base. Okay. Design part base. I click on that. So you can see the part base has been designed successfully. Alright, so let's scroll closely to it so we can be able to see. Look at the sections I'm having here. We have 550 by 550 sections and depth is 300 right here. And then this section is uh, 900 by 900, depth is 300 right here. Let's see. So this is my part 40. All details as part designed successfully. You can see okay so i can select on this and right click on that so i can decide to actually check the design right here you can see that all of the conditions is met successfully you can see over here all right i click on the close option so we are done with our part based design the next thing we are going to be designed is the base plate the base plate uh the base plate uh design successfully so we will navigate also to the physical model just like this and for the base plate design we will navigate to the design tab and then over here you can see base plate this option i pick that options i'll place the model in this orientation then i will select all of this just like this, I release my hand to have the base plate placed successfully. I zoom closely, you can see my base plate right here. So over here, you will see the property for the base plate. Okay. So the grade X355 is what I'm going to use. Auto size is check right there. So can always screw down the board grade class 8.8 .8. and then the board size n20 board so you can be able to select between these successfully i can choose to use any of these all right okay and then the board length is 350 if i screw down right here I have my end distance, I have the type is an individual width, and then I have the thickness right there. So I will just leave all of this at this uh, at default. I have the all weights and the last length right there. Okay, so after which I will come over to where I have check base plates. I click right there. So I have 10 of it past design and I have zero of it sorry I have some errors here error is 10 and I have um, 153 past design sorry this is not for the base this is for the members okay but for the base plate I have 10 of it having some errors so I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 meaning all of the uh, base plate we have designed have some errors in it so let us try to check it out we have to select it just like this right click and then you come to this provision of check base plate options click right there so you can see at least one of the base plate property currently as an error close this select on the base plate right click again and then we come to edit base plate so you can see we have the board issue and the concrete base issue all right so what we do is um over here with the depth is 300 which is the concrete if you click on the board you have a bottom with 350 so there is a kind of uh, uh do i say call it pointing okay of the board through the concrete all right so what we need to do is we need to work first on the uh reinforced concrete uh, 
Let, let's uh, cancel this. We we'll need to work on the reinforced concrete uh, part uh, footings. All right. So now we will go to the physical model. Here is the physical model. All right. So now we have the reinforced concrete right here. So we need to select on that. So we can work actually on this. Uh, on it uh, properties so now we have this number uh, if we select on this we have 900 select on this we have 900 as well this is 800 next one is um, 850 this is 800 the sizes are not actually the same but what we just need to work on is the depth all right not actually the size so we can select multiple of this for the control key you can see we'll select multiple of this so we work on the depth of the footing all right depth of the footing okay so we scroll down you see where we have the depth to be if you go up we notice all of the auto design for depth has been unchecked okay so we can make the adjustment successfully so the depth provisions let's just give it 450 a depth or 400 can also go right here all right so click in the space to increase the depth just like this okay now we select on the base plate and then you right click so you come to the provisions no it's not selected all right, so zoom closely and make sure it's laid on the base plate. Right click and then click on the edit base plate. Right now, you can see we wouldn't have any error any longer. Okay, the base plate size, the board grade, the board size, and then the, the board length. Everything has passed design. Okay, so you can see the end distance is 400. And then we have the anchorage. Okay, the width is 100, thickness is 16, the length is uh, 100. So we can increase this length to 300. Right here, yeah. come to the weight. All right, so everything is good. We have the lack length of 6 millimeters weight length for the concrete base. We have some growth as well. Then this is the concrete grade. So yeah, it's the footings size. Click on the OK options. You can see. So we have successfully edited this one. We select on this as well. Right click and then come to edit base plate. Right here, we don't have any issue, but we can still work on this. We can go straight away to the anchorage, and then we increase this to three hundred. Just like this for the weight, we are okay. For this, the weight is 8 millimeters length. So it's different from the previous. So I'll select on the concrete base. Everything is good. Click on the okay options. That is fine. All right. So I select on this one, right click. And then I click on the uh, edit base plate right here. So I want to work on this. Uh, Light okay, want well, to be 300, right? Just like this, everything is fine. I click on the okay option, you can see. So, the same method you will use to make sure you check your base plate successfully. Okay, there are two methods to design the best plate in a uh, Tecla structural designer. Okay, so this is the first method I've actually shown to you. There are other methods to do that. Okay, so if you want to see the drawings of this first plate, select on it and right click. You will see an option set generate drawings. Okay, so this option will actually open AutoCAD automatically. So if I select on these options, you will have a, you can see the SF export references. Okay, so now you see output, use automatic file name. All right, so now you see over here the drawings details. And the name as well as the scale right here okay so if i click on the ok options and then leave this for some time it's going to launch autocad automatically as you can see right here and then take the drawings to autocad there you can further carry out some editing of the drawings successfully 
and then you proceed to uh, arrange your drawing into a title block and then you will get it set for printing okay so the same thing the same thing uh, is applicable okay here AutoCAD has open I will use this option AutoCAD has open so here is the best plate that we just designed so successfully that is the drawings you can see all right so this is how the class structural designer actually works successfully okay so let us get right from here before we proceed i would like us to uh visit our channel visit our channel i will have to minimize this here is our channel okay if you have not subscribed please can resubscribe subscribe to our channel hit on the subscribe button and then i will advise that you join our channel membership okay ask question whatsoever you need once you join a channel membership you can ask us through the you know uh comment section in the in the membership uh room successfully and we will ensure we try to uh provide you with the assistance okay so don't forget to subscribe and join a channel membership all right so let us make progress so here is the best plate i will minimize this okay now we want to produce the drawing for the part foundation i'll select it right click and then if i use this option of generate drawings this will open this drawing in autocad as well just like this with the bible and the schedule you can see so here is the drawing in autocad and the bible and the schedule just for you to do a little bit editing work on it and then get it set okay now i will minimize this as well okay so if you want to see the draw the detailed calculations for this that is the report for the part base you can select the part base right click and then you will use this option of report for member all right select on it so you have this all right you can actually use the next page options to switch all right you can also convert this to pdf once you click on this pdf this will open in the pdf so you can be able to also uh print it through the pdf provisions you can see here is the detail uh design calculations for the part base successfully all right so here we go we will get back to the 3d model so we have learned how to design part foundation in this video as well as base plate design using tecla structural designer do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe and don't forget to get to our channel all right and then hit on the subscribe button right here and join our channel membership thank you and then we are going to be stop it here in the next presentation we will discuss how to design the connections using the class of final designer successfully stay connected see you in the next presentations and bye for now